Horticultural exports between January and November 2021 rose by 6% to 145.4 billion shillings. Directorate of Horticulture head Benjamin Tito says the volume of exports increased by 30% to 85 million kilos attributed to increased demand for flowers and vegetables despite low average export prices. During the period, the volume of flowers exported to destinations such as the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, Germany and Norway increased from 287.8 million kilos in 2020 ah, okay. to 373.78 million kilos in 2021, representing a 3.3% rise. This of the value also increased from 136.7 billion shillings in 2020 to 145.44 billion shillings in the 11 months to November, representing a 2.1% rise. Directorate of Horticulture head Benjamin Tito said the demand for the Kenyan fruit, vegetables and flowers has pushed up the volumes by 30%, which helped to boost the earnings, despite lower average export prices compared to those seen in 2020. The total volume and value of horticulture exports reached 313 million kilos with a value of 150 billion shillings. He says the demand for the fresh produce has started picking up after most of the export destinations relaxed COVID-19 pandemic protocols. The horticulture sector has remained resilient over the last one year and it is projected to remain so. However, part of the challenge in terms of exportation of immature fruits can be dealt with by self-regulation. The volumes of vegetables exported also increased from 34.38 million kilos in 2020 to 65.13 million kilos in 2021 and the value also increased from 13.9 billion shillings in 2020 to 23.78 billion shillings in 2021 with the United Kingdom, Holland and France still continuing to be leading export destinations. The volume of fruits exported comprising of avocado, pineapple and mango increased 99.5 million kilos in 2020 to 100 110.5 million kilos in 2021, representing an 11% rise as compared to the same period in 2020. However, the value dropped from 17.7 billion shillings to 17.57 billion shillings in 2021, representing a 1% decrease. The directorate noted that harvesting and export of immature fruits has been high, hence the need to regulate closing and opening of the avocado season. Harvesting and exports of immature avocado has negatively affected the image of the country in the overseas markets and in addition to interfering with the cropping cycle of the trees, thereby reducing the projected volumes in the subsequent harvest. He added the review to open the avocado exports will be done in January next year. During the period, avocado farmers earn 14.48 billion shillings compared to 14.41 billion shillings over a similar period last year.